and uh, welcome to the data stage session. So in this video, we'll be discussing about uh, how to use AWK command. AWK command. Command. In job sequences. Okay, so in job sequences, how to use AWK command, okay? So this is a job that I have already designed. So I will explain you clearly what the each step is doing here. Okay. So let me open this job. So this job uh, has input of row generator stage. So here I created a one sample dumpy record, just as number. Okay. And in the transformer stage, I have implemented the logic. So here I'm extracting the current date and time. So what is my current date? So what is my date today? So, and what is my time? So I'm appending this, both the values. So this is the logic. Okay, so here, date to string function I have used. So date to string function I have used here. And I have extracted the current date and I have removed the iPhone. Okay, so now, for example, today's date is uh, 20, 22, 03, 24. Okay, so here we will receive 20, 22, 03, 24. Okay. And similarly, time to string. So what is my current time? Suppose uh, now it is 8.34, 8.34 in the morning. So 08, 24, sorry, 34. Now time is 34, 8.34. And current is, and seconds, seconds it may be anything. So based on system will, so both will be appended here, this logic, okay? So I will share this logic in the description box. So if there is any need in your projects, so you can implement this uh, solution. Okay, so converting a date to a string. Okay, and I'm storing this particular value in a text file. Okay, so this is the file. Let me go to the target folder. Okay, so let me delete all the files here. Okay, so here the file will be created. And first line, I'm not uh, considering header. So I have set it to false and end. Final delimiter record level delimiter as end. So here I'm storing that uh, current date and uh, with the timestamp. Okay, so today's date and with uh, time, I'm appending that particular value in a file, okay. So now click on, okay, now let's uh, run this. What will happen? Run the job. So it will be generated one record. And uh, the current timestamp and date, that will be stored in a file. So job is still started running. Just a minute. It's in blue color now. Yes, it's converted to red color. Now let's go to target folder. So here the file has been created. So if you see here, friends, uh, it is today's date. Okay, so 2022, 03, 24. 08, 37. Now time is 37, 01. Okay, so date and timestamp got appended here. So by using this logic, okay. 
let's minimize this. So here, this job will help us to generate current date and timestamp. And I have removed the colons in between the date functions and all. Okay. So colons and iPhones. Now, how to call this CWK command? So here data, uh, I mean, date is stored here, right? So how to use the AWK command? So AWK, you can use execute Unix uh, executable states if you go to palette. So here we have the option uh, execute uh, command. Okay, so he, here in execute command stage, we will be executing Unix commands, cell scripts and all. You can call the cell script to execute. Okay, so SH and respect to script, we have to mention with the path and the location. Then automatically Unix scripts also will be executed using executable command. So now double click on this and mention the. So if I want to print the line, so AWK command. So here I have to provide AWK single quotes open brackets print dollar one. So dollar one represents here the first line. So if it is having the header and it is the data will be stored timestamp, the current date and timestamp will be stored in second right, the second record, right? Then you have to provide dollar two. So since there is no header here, I have I'm considering here as a dollar one. And we have to mention the location of the file path where you uh, date and timestamp got created. So mention that uh, file path. So here you can see my file path is uh, C drive target, okay? And I have mentioned the file here, okay? So now let's click on okay. And here in the trigger action, I have given okay condition. So it has to generate some output and that output AWK command, what out the Unix command that uh, gets the result. So that particular output, I have stored it in a user variable, so, okay. So I used a date name, date time as a user variable and field function. Field function, okay, uh, Unix arm and output at the rate FM and single space. So this will gives the output will be stored in a user variable. Output will be stored in a user variable. Okay. So now click on okay. And this can be assigned in a, uh, as a param parameter, uh, can append in a file. Suppose uh, in which scenario, like uh, I want to send a files to the users. Okay, so, and I need to append the current timestamp where the file got, uh, in which, at what time the file got uh, created. So file name, and underscore followed by current uh, timestamp. So current timestamp is nothing but current date with uh, time, current date with time, current time. So that with that I have append and I need to send it to user. Uh, it's, it may be a downstream application somewhere. Okay, so this is the logic that we can use. Okay. Now here I have used a uh, job sequence activity. Okay, so looping activity here. So not job sequence loop. So job sequence looping activity, it's a start loop. So here I have used a listed loop and numeric loop. So there are uh, videos in our uh, YouTube channel, friends. So about uh, numeric loop and listed loop. Okay, so you can uh, check those. So to get more understanding. So here I'm considering the listed loop. So here I am providing the file names with the delimiters. Okay, so locations like uh, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, New York, Egypt, Delhi, and Islamabad. And comma separated the values here. Okay, so let me. Comma separated listed values. Okay, so now click on okay. And in the job, what's happens here? So just here uh, creating some test data and uh, loading it in a file. So numbers, numbers, unique numbers, and here, random numbers, 
and a name. Okay, so name and technology. Okay, and alphabets. Okay, and current date. Okay, so technology only means technology. Tech name. Tech name means technology. Okay, so click on apply, click on close. So here technology name, I have given data stage, BigQuery, data analytics, cloud, DW, chartosis. Click on okay. Here you can see the output. So here I have created job parameters, friends here. Go to job properties. Okay, so here I have given city name, date type. Okay, so city name, city name in the sense like uh, what and all we have mentioned in the listed loop that we can consider here. And uh, date type, so date time that we have stored in a file, right? So that will, that has to be considered as a job parameter. So here we are not defining this. Okay, so here we are defining in a job sequence okay so here uh, default values are blank so here target file path will be city parameter city and date time okay so here you can see let me copy this okay so here uh, job, runtime parameter that can be defined with uh, hashes hashes parameter underscore date so both i have mentioned so Bangalore underscore with uh, whatever the system date, uh, system current date that will be appended here like this. Suppose example, Bengaluru, Bangalore appended with this date, with this time, okay? Just an example, dot txt. So it will be applicable for the remaining files like that, okay? So now click on, okay, save this, compile this job. So it is running in a job sequence, right? So updated be reflected there. Now click on close. And this uh, end loop I have given until this looping activity gets completed. Okay, so click on okay. Now save, compile and run this job. So if I click on run button, I need to save first, then compile next. Can see here friends go to the target so here it is appending the time so now let's see the time again a jab has triggered right so 2022 03 24 now time is uh, 845 845 38 seconds okay so for each uh, listed what and all we have listed here now so that has been getting appended here okay so now Egypt Islamabad, yeah, now it's got completed. Okay, so like that, uh, we can use uh, AWG command uh, in data state job sequence. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. So, if you are looking for data state training and information analyzer job support, data state job support, you can uh, reach out to me uh, via given WhatsApp number. Okay, so if you are watching my channel for the very first time, so please subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon. Whenever I post a video, you will get a notification. Thank you. Have a great day.